It is Food Truck Friday at the West Dallas Farmers Market. Let's get to Cassandra McShepard checking out some of the things being slung out of the food truck windows tonight. Cassandra. <laughs> Absolutely, Steve. I have to say the award-winning West Dallas Farmers Market. I'm here with Mayor Dan Devine. So first of all, thanks for hanging out with me again. We Good were to together a, just a week or so ago. That's right, for the parade, yeah. yeah. So tell us about Food Truck Fridays. Sure, you know, we have, we're at one of the best farmers markets in the state, the best, definitely the best one in the Milwaukee area. And we were constantly looking at ways to use it for more events and more things for the community. And, and we started food truck events a couple years ago and we do about five or six a summer. And it's a really neat mix because some of them are local food trucks that are usually in the West Dallas area, but others are from other parts of the area. So it's a mix of, of local West Dallas places as well as just things from around the region. I love it. Now you say five or six a summer and they rotate, right? You have different vendors each time. We have a couple that are more mainstay, but then there is a lot of rotation, a lot of new ones each each Friday. Well, you know, one of the things that I think is so great is, okay, it was raining earlier. The sky looks like it could just open up and fall again, and it is crowded out here. People were really excited about getting out. Yeah, I think there's still a lot of people that are excited after the last couple of years to do things outdoors in person again and um, it's it's just we were watching the radar all day and we kept seeing it it kept looking like everything was going to blow over by about four o'clock and the radar was correct so let me ask you this uh, you are here with your family do you have any of your favorites out here you know I every time I come here I don't have an agenda and I just kind of walk until I see something that grabs me. So tonight it was a Riley's good dog, a Riley's hot dog. Yeah. I also, um, my teenage son is here and he's on about his fourth entree right now. <laughs> so he's done a hot dog, he's done tots on the streets and then he just hit the taco truck about 10 minutes ago. So he's, he's definitely supporting as many of these places as possible. I love it. Well, I am no stranger to the West Alice Farmer's Market. I've been shopping here for years, and I know that as I look around me, I see major changes. West Alice is growing up, isn't she? Yeah, this is one of the hottest neighborhoods that's seen a lot of redevelopment, a lot of investment. And if you look across the street, there's two new apartment complexes that are going up. And then later this year, the vacant area over there is going to be Maker's Row, which is going to be like a food hall, food cluster type of development with um, coffee and food users and wine and things like that. So it's really, it's going to be a really, just within five, ten years, this is going to be one of the hottest neighborhoods in the Milwaukee metro area. Uh, okay, one last question. Sure. The farmer's market will stay, right? Absolutely. We're not, <laughs> we're not touching this baby. <laughs> Mayor Dan Devine, again, I thank you very much, and you enjoy the rest of your evening. There's fireworks going on. We your 4th of July fireworks are being... Uh, our third attempt at not getting rained out on the West Dallas fireworks. Thank you, Festival Foods, our sponsor. They're going off tonight at State Fair Park at about 9.15. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I don't want to keep you from that. All Thanks right. for taking the time. Thanks so much. Well, Steve, again, don't you wish you were me? Don't you wish you were here? It means I get my dinner a lot earlier than I would otherwise. Cassandra McShepard, <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right? Thank you.